For Asgard, let the lightning be our sword and the sun be our shield. <clears throat> I think predictive programming is BS. Who, who even came up with that term? Like, who's, who was the first person or the first group of people to, to make this term popular? Because it can't be some random person in, in a basement. It can't be some random person on the street coming up with these terms. Someone of high power is coming up with this term. Someone who knows stuff is coming up with these terms, or particularly this term. Um, particular programming, as we all know, it's bullshit. I think it's bullshit. And again, I'm not denying things we see in uh, movies and TV shows that come to re to reality if you want to call it that i think you know the the reason why certain things happen after it's being shown on tv or whatnot i i think a lot of these movies and tv shows etc music whatever i i think it, it's like an auction or it it, it or there, it's just inspiration for certain things to happen. I, I think that these shows and, and movies, they come out and the high power, whatever, whoever's behind the scene, I'll call them the hidden hand. And the hidden hand, you know, watches these things and they're like, hey, maybe we can use this as a storyline. Hey, this is an interesting storyline because it's, it's, it would be a lot easier to just base something off of something else. And that's what, you know, in, in relation to the, to movies and TV shows, a lot of them are just recycled reboots, prequels, sequels, spinoffs of other shows. And, and, and they've been inspired by other shows. And they've been inspired by very old shows and, and, and etc. I really do think that a lot of these TV shows, you know, have been... Uh, are just, you know, are, are being inspired by people writing these scripts. These shows and movies come out and they watch it. Oh, wait, you know, they, they don't have an idea of a, of a new of a new script or a new storyline. And they watch these things. But, hey, that's an interesting storyline. That's an interesting concept. Let's add this concept to it. Let's add, you know, this there. Let's add that character or that person. Let's have that actor do this. That's interesting. I think that's what it is. I don't think predictive programming exists. It doesn't make it really doesn't make any sense if you think about it. Like people have to know with the way this world works in society, they already know what's happening. It's not like these shows are making themselves. These shows are not making themselves. Movies are not making themselves. Movies and TV shows are not predicting the world. People are writing and producing these shows and movies. And other people are writing scripts based on it in reality. So, you, so you, 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 people got to, you know, I want to say stop putting this predictive nonsense in your head. There's no such thing. There's no such thing. These are just storylines that other people are, are being inspired to use. And as for, you know, the, the Kamala situation, um, as for this Lisa and Kamala thing, this could easily be, hey, we watch The Simpsons, Let's add this storyline into, you know, so-called reality. Let's make Kamala dress up like Lisa Simpson. These shows are not writing themselves. These movies are not writing themselves. The storylines that we see in so-called reality, like these elections, they're not writing themselves. People are watching these and being like, hey, 
let's add this element, this concept, this character into this so-called reality. And that's what they did. I think they're, they're, they're you know, going to be tricking a lot of people with this election. I, for one, you know, in, in a way, you know, I guess I've been conditioned by, you know, uh, I'll say Arthur and the Muffy being president and, and Lisa Simpson being president. And there's an episode on recess where Gretchen becomes president. Um, I'm, I've been conditioned to think Kamala's actually going to win. And and it's like, I, I, you know, I've been conditioned by it. I'm not going to lie. But at the same time, I, I think it can go either way. Either way. I think they're just playing people with this. Everyone is relying on, on The Simpsons. An, an episode on The Simpsons. A very old episode on The Simpsons that was... Based on a dream, base it was based on a dream or a dream sequence or a flash forward thing type of thing. That's, that's what it's you know based on, and in this so called reality election, people are gonna think, oh, Kamala's gonna win, Kamala's gonna win, but when the results come out, I think it. I'm saying it could go either way. I think Trump could probably return. I think they're just leading people and just playing people with people's minds. I think this is just a, a drill or a test to see if people are actually paying attention. I don't think, you know, this is going to, to really be the next so-called president. I think this is just a test, but again, I'm I'm really conditioned by it. At the same time, I'm conditioned by it. I'm conditioned by it, and it's like same time I I want it to happen. Like it's like I want it to happen because I've seen it in The Simpsons. But it can go either way because again, it they're both scripts. The Simpsons is a, is a script made by man, maybe AI. And maybe in these so-called elections, they're also created by AR. And then again, man, they're all scripts. And then they, they are scripts. Comes down to Trump and Kamal. Like, which one has the better storyline for the future? I would say Kamala has the better storyline. Why? Because she's a woman. The Simpsons. Um, you know, she's... You know, very goofy, uh, very, you know, sadistic. So there's there's things you can do with her. Trump, we already already seen Trump, but you know, Trump is an attraction. Everyone likes to talk about Trump. Trump is is influential. Everyone wants to hear about what Trump has to say, even if you don't like him. People want to hear what he has to say, even if you hate him. People want to hear what he has to say. They want that. So I, I think, you know, Trump, you know, just the way, I, I really don't know what the agenda is. I don't know what their agenda, I don't know what's happening, but it's obviously something that's going to happen down the road. But, you know, I, 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 it can go either way, but I would not be surprised, you know, if Trump, um, becomes the next president. Would not be surprised. I think this whole Kamala thing is just a setup. They're setting people up. You know, just to test. Just to play people's mind. Just to keep, you know, bring up this predictive programming crap. Predictive programming crap. All the Simpsons predicted. Uh, let's see, let's see. Simpsons predicted. Look at this, look at this. This is all bullshit. Three times the, um, the, com the Fox comedy success predicted the future. Bullshit. They ain't predicting nothing. People are choosing. Elements from the show. 
they're choosing elements from the show to what what they want to use. This whole look, they say the whole world is a stage. The people who write Simpsons, they're Masons. They're part of that Jesuit order. They're part of the hidden hand. It's all connected. They ain't predicting nothing. They play these episodes, either if it's manipulated, they told them to do it or not, or if it's organic. And then other people watch, they get inspired, and they choose. They're choosing storylines to play out. They choose it. This, this Disney thing, this was probably always going to happen. If not, Simpsons did it. And they chose to do it. They chose to use this concept. They ain't predicting nothing. Nothing. So you gotta cut off the cut off cut off this nonsense of predictive programming. It's not predictive programming. All these actors are actors. They're just characters. You know, they pay him money to play these roles. Whether people are dying or not, it's really unknown. I don't know. I really don't think a lot of these people who are die, so-called dying are actually dead. I don't think I don't think most of the celebrities that, that were said have died. I don't think that there a lot of them have been, have died. All the other tragedies that have happened, I don't they're not organic. These TV shows will say something. TV shows will say something. Other writers or whatnot, Holly Weird, CIA, FBI, whatever, hidden hand, they view it, they watch it and be like, hey, you know, we have no ideas, but this is a good idea to do. Let's use this idea because it's easier. It's a lot easier to use someone else's idea. Just like you're in, 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 in school, you, you, you plagiarize. Just like in contests, you cheat. Because it's easier, easier to do that rather than come up, coming up, come up, well, other than, sorry, rather than coming up with something new and different. Let someone else do all the legwork, make up stuff, pay them to make it up, and, and then say, oh, predictive program. Come on, it's nonsense, man. Cut it out. Cut it out. There's no predictive programming. These are just writers, people, possibly AI nowadays, writing these scripts, and then other people picking and choosing which narrative to, to use. Another one I really want to touch base on. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I can't remember what this show's called. But in this show, um, Kobe was in a helicopter uh, crash. And then years later, this guy's dead. So-called dead. And, I, and, I, and I, I'm telling you, they, 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 they pick these storylines in different shows and movies. And they use it in real life, or so-called real life, as storylines. And from the beginning, I've never thought he was actually dead. And I don't think he's dead. And I know damn well, he ain't dead. This Kobe Bryant char character is just a character. It probably not wasn't even his real name. Joe, J Joe Bryant it probably wasn't even his real father. These guys are just characters, actors. These are all just storylines. Just storylines. And I guarantee LeBron, I guarantee it. Guarantee it. I can't show proof of it. I have no evidence. Well, maybe a little bit. No proof, no, ev no real evidence that Michael Jordan and LeBron, they know that this Kobe guy, his character, the actor, they know he ain't dead. But they, they sign these contracts, get paid millions to keep their mouths shut. I ain't dead. This guy's just part of this whole story. His whole career, her, his whole life is just a storyline. Gotta ask yourself a question, man. Why did he go bald? Why did he change his number from 8 to 24? 
they're going to give you these bogus reasons, but there's always a, a real hidden subliminal message behind it. I, don't, I can't really say, but there's always something behind it. Not because you just wanted a new number. What, what does a number have to do with the way you perform? Um, there's a video with LeBron, James, and Miles Garrett. LeBron James working out with Miles Garrett. And since I've ever seen this Miles Garrett guy, I am confident to know that this guy is... The character playing Kobe Bryant. I'm pretty damn sure LeBron, Jordan, any of these big stars, big execs, they know Kobe ain't dead. They know Kobe is just a character. LeBron is working out with Kobe right here. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Maybe Kobe's age isn't even accurate. I I I don't know what the, I don't know exactly. What they're doing. I don't know exactly what they're doing. With this whole storylines and stuff and that's I don't know. But from the things that I've seen and the observations and things are not adding up and the intuition, you know. This whole whole world is a stage. Kobe ain't dead. Predictive program is BS. And they just use storylines from movies and TV shows for their so-called reality. <sighs> for Asgard. Remember. Let the lightning be your sword and the sun be your shield.